Now we need to make the connection between our software and your Twitter account. So what we need to do is to copy the codes in red on this slide. Copy it. And then open the text editor application, a notepad application or other text editor application. And then you want to paste the code into the notepad application. Next, we want to replace the text here, like uh, your API key, your API secret, with the codes offered by Twitter. So let's replace them one by one. First, remove your API key. Notice that you want to keep the two double quotes. And then go back to your Twitter account. In your Twitter account, click uh, Keys and uh, Access Tokens. And then you want to copy the API key offered by Twitter. You want to make sure that you have copied the entire code here. Make a copy and then go back to the text editor and then paste the API key. Also make sure that you don't have any white spaces or special symbol in front of the code. Like here, I just had a space in front of S, right? I want to remove the space. Make sure I only have uh, two double quotes. And then between the two double quotes, I have uh, the API key offered by Twitter. Next, we want to go back to Twitter and then copy the secret API key. We want to copy the entire code, make a copy, and then go back to the text editor and then remove the API key secret. And then paste the code from uh, Twitter into the two double quotes. Also make sure remove any spaces before the code. Next, we want to replace your access token with the token offered by Twitter. So let's go back to Twitter and then scroll down to the bottom of this page. Here we want to copy access token codes. Copy the entire code and then go back to the text editor application. Remove your access token and then paste the code you just uh, copied from Twitter account. Make sure there is no space before the code. Just the two double quotes and then between the two double quotes, you have the code here. Next, token secret. Let's go back to Twitter and then copy the entire code here. Token secret. And then go back to the text editor. And then remove your access token secret. And then paste the code into here. Next, you want to open the R software and then go to the PowerPoint. In the previous slides, you want to copy the code here, download the following packages in R. Make a copy and then go to the R software, paste the code here. Then you can select the mirror website. We want to choose USTX. You can scroll down the list and then find the USA TX and then click OK. Then the R software will download the packages needed for the Twitter analytics. Okay. Now we have downloaded the packages and started the packages here. Remember, after you download the two packages, after you download the tweet R package and the ROA auth package, next time, if you want to perform the Twitter analytics, you must use the library to start these two packages. This is very similar to what we have been learned in the R analytics. 
Before you use these two packages next time, make sure you use a library to start them first. Now we have a get ready for the Twitter analytics. Let's go to the text editor application and then copy the codes we just added. Copy the entire codes and then click uh, R and then paste the codes here. Now you can see our software asks you, do you want to create a local file to download the login to your Twitter developer account? You can select either one. Let's select uh, one. We want to create a local file. Press enter. Now you are ready to perform the Twitter analytics now. Let's see an example. Let's go to the end of this slice. And then you can see this example. Copy the codes here. What we wanted to do is to access to Hillary Clinton's Twitter account. We want to download the most recent 200 tweets from Hillary Clinton's Twitter account. Let's copy the codes here and then go to R. And then you can see get tweets is ready, right? If you want to see these tweets, you can type in get tweets. Press enter. You will see the most recent 200 tweets from Hillary Clinton's Twitter account. In the next lecture, I will talk about how to analyze these tweets. Actually, you are not limited to Hillary Clinton's Twitter account. In the future, if you know a person's Twitter account handle, you are able to access to the tweets the person just posted online. What is a Twitter handle? It is a name after the at sign. For instance, here, Beyonce just posted a tweet about Hillary Clinton. Beyonce said, I'm with her, right? You see, at Beyonce, right? At Beyonce is a Twitter handle for Beyonce's Twitter account. So in the future, if you know a person's Twitter handle, you are able to access to this person's Twitter account and then access to the tweets the person just posted under his or her account. Let's use Beyonce as an example. Let's say we want to access to the most recent 200 tweets Beyonce posted online. Here, instead of Hillary Clinton, we want to type in Beyonce. If you are interested, you can change the tweet number to the most recent uh, 300 tweets, any number you like, and then press enter. Now you can see get tweets is ready, right? Let's see what Beyonce is up to. Get tweets and then you can see all recent uh, tweets Beyonce posted online. Let's see another example. Our university also has a Twitter account. I don't know the handle name so let's go to tmuc.edu and then look at uh, the bottom of this web page. Click uh, stay up to date on Twitter. Let's find out the uh, TMUC Twitter handle. It's a T-A-M-U-C, right? So let's go back to R and then take a look at uh, TMUC's tweets. Change Beyonce to T-A-M-U-C. And then let's change to the recent uh, 50 tweets. Press enter. And then type in get tweets. And then you can see the most recent 50 tweets from uh, Texas AM University Commerce.